Hey, hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in 3D Code. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite tools in the voxel sculpting room, and that tool is called the Vox Hide tool. It's uh, pretty simple to use, but it's very, very powerful. Let's go to the voxel sculpting room, start with an empty grid, hit our space bar, go and look for a primitive down here, it's going to start default with the sphere. We're going to grab it and make it a bit bigger. And as we do that, we'll increase the number of uh, voxels. So be aware. And from here, we're going to click on apply. Okay. Now that will leave us with an orange proxy inside our other sphere. It doesn't matter. I'm going to align this. I'm going to push it out of the way, but it's going to be gone in a second anyway. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn on symmetry. So I'm going to hit S on my keyboard. I want symmetry in X and Y, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to load up our Vox Hide tool. Hit the space bar, go to the Adjust menu, click on the Vox Hide. And now, as I promised, the orange proxies are gone, right? Okay, now, like I said, the uh, voxel count is important because you want crisp detail, right? Now, right now, it's uh, 1.2 million. If I want to increase the voxel count, I can hit the space bar, go to res plus to increase resolution, or click on resample and type in the number of voxels I want. Okay, so now we're ready to use our tool, right? We're in vox hide. We're going to go and select um, the uh, style of choice. Let's do a circle and let's just drag out a circle somewhere around here. And what that will do is that will cut through and through and you'll get something like this, okay? Pretty neat. Now, let's say we want to use something different. We want to use a, um, a square, but instead of cutting a hole, I want to bring back pieces of um, things that I cut out, right? So let's drag a square, let's say something like this. And of course, I forgot to hit the control key. Let's try that again. Hold on control, and there you go. So you get super, super interesting shapes and a very fast, I might add, right? Very cool. Now let's do uh, one more. Let's do, I don't know, an oval shape. So we'll grab an oval shape. We'll do something like this. There you have it. Let's say we want to bring back another section. Uh, we'll go back in here. We'll take that square again. And let's do something like this. And again, there we go. Forgot to hold down the control key. Sorry about that, guys. Boom, there you go. So you can make very elaborate shapes and in a very, very easy way, right? And of course, you can rotate your shape as you're doing this, but it's uh, it's very, very powerful. Now, it's similar to, uh, I would say somewhat similar to the cutoff tool, with the exception that with the Vox High tool, you can actually bring shapes back. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys in this video. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, check it out and uh, let me know what you think, right? If you enjoyed the 3D Code series, hit that like button, uh, subscribe if you didn't do that just yet, and I'll love to see you guys again. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.